When everything is white, glimmering silver white, and stillness fills the night, it's Christmas. A winter wonderland, a snowball in each hand. Take me away, Christmas Day. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. Today's video is my 2019 Christmas home tour. You guys, I am so excited to be sharing this with you. I've been working on it for what feels like weeks, <laughs> maybe even months, but my house is finally pretty much all decorated. Of course, I'm never gonna think it's perfect. I'll always wanna add stuff or move stuff or whatever, but it's generally done and I'm really excited to share it with you guys. So today we're just gonna kind of walk through my entire house or at least the areas that I've decorated and I'm gonna share with you how I decorated and where most everything is from. Now, if I forget to say where something's from, I'm gonna do my best to link stuff in the description below, but I can't make any guarantees because some of my decor is kind of old. So I'll just kind of do my my best and if you have any questions feel free to leave it in the comment section down below but without further ado let's go ahead and jump into it so when you first walk into my home the first thing that you see is our large staircase and originally I was not planning on doing a garland I was gonna wait and hold off until next year but I stopped by Walmart a couple of weeks ago and I found a garland that was actually really good quality for like $5, maybe $6 a piece. So I ended up going with it. So I just did a really plain, basic kind of, I didn't add lights or frills. I just wanted it to be really simple and have kind of more of that rustic feel, if you will. Um, and another thing I did was here on each of the banisters, I just added these burlap bows. So I think I love it. I love the way that it turned out. It adds a really nice kind of festive touch when you walk through the front door. Kind of just walk into this big foyer entryway area so i have my entryway table here but i wanted to show you guys on this wall i decided to just add a big statement piece this year um in years past i don't think i've done anything to this wall i normally have family pictures hanging here but i thought it'd be fun to just kind of change it up i found this at kirkland's and i got it 30 percent off so i was excited about that but it just says have yourself a merry little christmas So I thought it'd be easier to just kind of show you the entryway table if I held the camera, but um, here I just have my lamp that always sits here. That is from Kirkland's. I get asked about this mirror quite a bit. It's from Wayfair and I got it really inexpensive, but here on the tabletop, I just added these cute little white houses. They're from the Target dollar spot. Um, I've collected them over the years. I have so many of them, but they just add just a nice pop of white and I love that Christmas village feel. I also added this um, berry garland I found at Target as well as these tea lights. And then over here, I wanted to incorporate some green, so I did these berry stems and I think they are so pretty. I found them at Kirkland's this year and they also have them in white and in blue. So that's just a simple tabletop. And then down below, I just have some candlesticks, a sign that says, it's a wonderful life. That is from Kirkland's. And then that little um, floral piece is also from Kirkland's, but it's several years old. Right off of the entryway to the left of our staircase is our formal sitting room. And in this room, I just wanted to keep it really kind of sleek and minimal. Still add a few cozy touches in here, but I had a lot going on in my formal dining room. And so I didn't want it to look too cluttered everywhere. So my aesthetic in here was definitely more simple, kind of a few rustic touches, but let's go ahead and dive into everything in here. 
Okay, so these two chairs I get a lot of questions about. I usually get questions about how I keep them clean and honestly bleach. The cushions, um, I'm sorry, the chair covers come right off and I usually just throw them in the wash with bleach probably three or four times a year and that does the trick. But they are the Ektorp chairs from Ikea and they have been awesome. They're super affordable for a larger piece of furniture and I love the bright white especially at Christmas time because I get to add my reds in and I love the contrast. So and I just loved the contrast of the white with the red um, so I went with a really bold red pillow here. It's just plaid. It's from Pier 1 and this pillow is also from Pier 1 but it's a couple of years old. I don't know if they still have it but I love the um, the car in here, it totally reminds me of Christmas Vacation, which is one of my all-time favorite movies. So um, that is that. So then on this ottoman with that chair, I just have a tree from the Target dollar spot and one of my Bath and Body Works candles going. This one is vanilla balsam and it smells super nice and cozy like a Christmas tree. Okay, so on this table here between the two chairs, um, this is from At Home. It's the Shanty Chic brand, but I just have this cute upholstered deer. I found it at Hobby Lobby a couple of years ago. I know they always have some variations of this kind of deer. Um, I love the little knit scarf. I think it's so cute. Now it's just a cute little cozy touch. And this stack of books is from Hobby Lobby as well, believe it or not. I think this joy sign is from Target, and then these trees are from Hobby Lobby this year. I've seen them in years past, and I've always wanted them, and I finally picked them up. I love them. They are so pretty. And then this window pane I picked up forever ago at a flea market. But I just added this really simple berry wreath. I thought I just added a nice pop of red here with all of this neutral I have going on. Okay, so over on this chair, I just have the exact same plaid pillow from Pier One, and then I added this Mary plaid pillow. This is from Kirkland's. Okay, so here off of the staircase and across from the sitting area, I just have this bench area and I love this. I think it adds a really cute kind of statement to the room. I used to have a desk sitting here and it just always got super cluttered and so I decided to move a bench in here instead and I'm super happy with that decision. But this window pane is Magnolia Home. It's a couple of years old now. I got it online. They might still have it, they might not, I'm not sure. But the wreath is from Target and I just wanted a nice pop of green up here since I had so much red going on down here. I added my own little flannel bow. And then these trees, <laughs> I'm obsessed with these. I bought six this year because I knew I wanted to put them all over my house. Um, but they're just from Target. But I know a lot of stores like Home Goods and Hobby Lobby have them too. I just had a hard time finding ones in little baskets. Um, so that's why I picked those up. But I just have two of those and then Kept it really kind of simple over here with the pillows. These pillow covers are from Amazon and they're super cheap. It's the best way to go if you're ever doing a plaid pillow, any color. And then this pillow is from Hobby Lobby. And then I just have a cozy throw on there. My hunter boots, which I always keep out here. I think they just add a nice touch of hominess. And then I did a little pitcher or milk jug with some red berries. So I love this. I love the way that it turned out. Okay, so across from the sitting room, off of the entryway is our guest room. Now because our guest room is right off the entryway, I like to decorate it for the seasons and keep it really festive and fun in here and still really cozy for our guests. We're hosting Christmas this year and I'm really excited. I hope that they enjoy their time in here and that it feels just warm and cozy. So let's go ahead and talk about what's in this space. When you walk into the room, there's just some beautiful natural light. I love the chandelier. We hung it when we moved in. And we have the bed, the side table, and then this statement wall piece. This used to be in my living room, but I moved it in here just because I felt like the verse was just perfect for a guest room. I love that. Just kind of be still, be quiet, relax, unwind, 
and just know that he is God. So I love that over the bed, but just for a Christmas touch, I added this garland. It was really inexpensive from Walmart. And then here you can see I have these chunky knit pillows. Those are from Target more of the Amazon plaid pillows, and then this joyful pillow is from Kirkland's. Over here on the side table, um, I have chalk painted it gray. It used to be like an espresso color, but it didn't work with this wood on the headboard. I have a lamp. Um, this Christmas tree is from Hobby Lobby. This Merry Christmas sign is also from Hobby Lobby, and then another vanilla balsam candle. Okay, so just to kind of balance out the space since there's only one side table in here, I just have this shelf. I got it at Ikea, um, but I just have really inexpensive decor in here. I have this tree from the Target Dollar Spot, a vase with some beaded garland, and then this sign is from Hobby Lobby. It's a couple of years old, but I think it's the, I think it's still there. I think they still have it, so um, that's all I have there. So moving on, we are about to enter the formal dining room, which is my favorite room by far this year for Christmas. I had so much fun decorating it, and if you happen to miss any of my clean and decorate with me videos, I'll have them all linked down below. You definitely wanna go check them out. And in here, I definitely went very farmhouse, and I love it. I have an antique hutch that I've redone this year um, for the space, and I had a lot of fun decorating that. So let's go ahead and talk about what's in here. Here we have my dining table. Now I get a lot of questions about this table and the chairs. I get a lot of questions about the chairs. So I have both of those linked down below in the description if you have any um, other questions or anything about that. But I wanted to incorporate again all of the reds that I have throughout my home. So I knew I wanted a red plaid table runner. I picked this up at Target and it's perfect for the space. Now I picked up these galvanized chargers because they're just so versatile. Like I know I can see myself using them for Easter, summertime, whenever, but they worked for Christmas as well. So that's why I did that. Um, and these dishes are actually really special to me. I'll show you here in a second, more close up, but I've never known a Christmas without these dishes. My mom got them way before I was even born. And so I've never known a Christmas without them. And she was so sweet and gifted them to me um, after I got married so that I could use them for years to come. So I'm definitely excited to host dinner. Now here above the table, I have this gorgeous chandelier and I ended up adding really pretty greenery to it. I found that greenery at Pier 1. And then down below in the centerpiece, I found this at Kirkland's. I loved the red berries and the burlap ribbon and just the candles just really set the tone and it's gonna be so cozy and so festive when we're having Christmas dinner. So here next to the hutch, I just have this Twas the Night Before Christmas sign. I love this. As soon as I saw it at the store, I was like, I need this. I need to put it in my house somewhere because it's one of my all-time favorite stories. I love reading it to my kids on Christmas Eve. So I love this piece. I'm so happy that I got it. Okay, so this is my hutch that I found on Facebook Marketplace for like 20 bucks, and I painted it with white chalk paint and it adds just such a cute farmhouse touch because my table is pretty modern. So I like kind of the balance that it gives to the room. But pretty much everything that's Christmas decor here on the hutch is from Hobby Lobby. These red measuring cups, a Christmas tree, this Christmas sign, or Christmas tree sign, um, the December 25th sign, the birdhouse, and this Christmas tree. All from Hobby Lobby. Um, I think this red hand towel is from Marshall's but I just incorporated other little pieces that I keep here around. I have some dishes here, some white bowls. I pretty much always keep this cake stain here, um, but I also incorporated some of the Christmas dishes. This is just the gravy bowl and some of that. So I love the way this turned out. It's just festive and fun, and it's such a fun piece to decorate. To the hutch I have this blanket ladder I kind of just needed something to fill this gap between the hutch and these Christmas trees and I just added a really pretty red berry wreath to it to just kind of keep it simple still add that nice pop of red and then over here I got these Christmas trees at Hobby Lobby and I love them I love how skinny and cute they are sitting in this corner and then over here on the windows these are really big windows 
They don't have any window treatments on them. So I decided to hang two winter wreaths. Um, they aren't super festive. They're just really basic. They have eucalyptus, pine cones, um, evergreen sprigs. But what I did was I tied them from little red ribbons so that it would just add a nice little festive pop. Okay, so we're right into my kitchen area now, and in here you'll see that I definitely added some pops of red, but I didn't add a ton of decor. I like to keep my kitchen pretty minimal, so I just added a few fun touches in here just to make it feel um, more Christmassy, but without screaming Christmas and adding a bunch of clutter everywhere, if that makes sense. So let's go ahead and I'll share with you what I got in here. So the first thing you see when you walk into our kitchen is our big island and I did keep it really simple on the island. I just have this cake stand that I found at Home Goods, and then I added this candle holder with the red berries. I believe that's from Hobby Lobby, and I have my winter candle burning here. And instead of just having the candle in the center, I thought this would be a fun way to kind of add some height and make it feel a little more Christmassy in here. Over on this side of the counter, I have my tiered tray. Now I kept my tiered tray really just simple this year and I added these red mugs. They're from the Target Dollar Spot last year. Um, and in them, I put these red picks and they are from Hobby Lobby, as well as these little candy cane ornaments instead of doing actual candy canes because my kids, yeah enough said but this is a really cute little owl ornament that i added and then this is a mason jar with some fake snow and fake little trees and then i just have a little house from the target dollar spot and this little um picture is from my dish set as well so that's everything on there Okay, so here next to my tiered tray is my dishwasher, and this is where I keep all of my tea towels. This one I love, it's because again, neutral with a little pop of red. It just says farm fresh Christmas trees. I found it at Hobby Lobby, and I know that they have it again this year because I bought this a couple of years ago, but I saw it the other day, so. Here above my sink, um, I decided to add a red plaid valance. I thought that would be a fun way to make it feel Christmassy without actually adding, adding Christmas decor. And another thing I just want to quickly say is I get so many questions about how I did this with these little planters. I normally keep fresh herbs in here, but they died when we went on vacation a few months ago, so I just filled them with fake ones. But instead of going in depth in how I did that, Right now, I wanted to let you guys know I am planning on doing a video specifically on that because I get so many questions and I want to share with you this really easy DIY. So stay tuned for that in the winter months to come. But anyway, moving on. And over here by my stove, I have this really pretty Christmas tree from Hobby Lobby as well as this sign that says tree love was born in a stable. And I love that. I found it at Hobby Lobby a couple of years ago. But then over here, none of this is really Christmas decor. I have my wood cutting boards that I found at Home Goods or Marshalls or wherever. Um, but I did put my little tea kettle out just because it's fun to have in the winter months. We make a lot more tea and cocoa and things like that. And then the rest is all decor that I have up pretty much year round. So I just wanted to show you this side of the kitchen too. kitchen table really simple I went I definitely went more out on my dining room table just because we sit here all the time and the kids and everything so I wanted to keep it as simple as possible but I just have a burlap runner that I actually got for the fall months and I'm just repurposing it and then I have this white pitcher from Target filled with just some really pretty winter greens and berries And into the heart of the home, our family room. I love this room. It's where we spend almost all of our time. 
So I really wanted this space to feel festive and cozy and fun. I really wanted this space to be done well because we spend so much time in here and whenever guests come over around Christmas time, we obviously spend a lot of time around the Christmas tree. So in here, I incorporated again all of those reds and plaids, but I kept it a little more traditional in here, which it wasn't my original plan to, but I love it. I couldn't be happier with it. So let's go ahead and talk about what's in here. Okay, so here on the mantel, this is my favorite area of the room. I wish there was a fire going right now, but sadly we haven't had it serviced yet. So no fires yet, but soon to come, hopefully. Um, but here on the mantel, I always have this window pane up here and I just switch out the wreath. So I did a really pretty green wreath. I got this at Hobby Lobby a couple years ago, added my own ribbon. And then these candlesticks are from Kirkland's and the candles on top are actually from Target and they're LED, which is super nice. Um, but then down here on the, on the bottom of the mantle, I have this garland, and I loved this as soon as I saw it because it wasn't flocked, and I knew a flocked garland wouldn't match my tree, um, but it had little bits and pieces of snow. So I thought that was kind of fun and festive, and of course with the red berries. And then just for another added element of texture, I incorporated this red beaded garland. I found it at Kirkland's. <laughs> And over here to the side, I just have our stockings. I have red and white knit with the faux fur. I think those are so fun. And then down here on the bottom, I just again have two of these Christmas trees that I found at Target. And then I did a basket with a pillow and then a little tin bucket here with some birch wood. On this couch, um, I have some white knit pillows. I actually have these on the guest bed as well. They are from Target. This faux fur blanket was a gift. I don't know where it was from, but you can find these at a lot of stores. Um, and then I did more of these Amazon plaid pillows. These are seriously the best, you guys. I have them all over and they were so inexpensive. But then the pillow that I really love the most was this wreath pillow and it says joy and it's red on one side, white on the other, and I found that at Pier 1. Now, up above the couch, um, I just added this chalkboard. I used to have the sign that was in the guest room above here, um, and I just have a thrill of hope, a weary world rejoices, and that's one of my favorite Christmas songs of all time, and I thought it was so beautiful to have here in the living room space. And up above it, I just have this garland. It's got some eucalyptus, and some white and then I added the red berries and pine cones to it and I thought it just kind of tied together with everything and then here these mason jars I got on Etsy a long time ago but I, mean, I just put some red little sprigs in there so I love this I love the way that this turned out okay so here on the ottoman I just have this white little house, it's from Kirkland's with a little candle holder and then more of these trees from Target. And on this side table, the only thing I put was this little sleigh and it's got the reds and the eucalyptus and lamb's ear and I thought this was so pretty, I found it at Kirkland's. And then over on this couch, I found these red and green plaid pillows at Pier 1 as well as these knit red pillows, but I saw the exact same ones at Target. And over here on this side table, I have these gorgeous red berry stems in a vase, my marshmallow fireside candle, and then this little sign that just says joy. So now for the centerpiece of the room and probably the entire house, my Christmas tree. I have a nine foot pre-lit faux tree from Hobby Lobby. I bought it two years ago and I love it. I think it is so beautiful. And I went for a really traditional kind of theme in here with just little bits and pieces of rustic touches. I would definitely say the theme of this tree though would be red berries because I think there's at least a hundred red berry picks in here, but let's take a closer look at it.
So you can see here, I have tons of red. I've got red picks, red berries. I've got little gold. Um, I don't even know what you would call these. Just more little picks. They just add tons of texture. I did sticks and twigs. I did frosted berries. Um, and then one thing I really loved about this with the deco mesh is I added these burlap poinsettias and they added such a pretty touch. There's some more different red berries. You can just see that's kind of the theme throughout the tree. But um, if you remember from my decor haul, I ended up adding these faux fur um, ornaments and they are my favorite. They look so pretty and add a nice pop of white to the tree. Um, but really I just have some gold ornaments, some, some red ornaments. These little guys are really pretty and rustic. Um, I love this one. It's got the little snow inside. There's just a ton. Here's some candy canes. So that's it for the most part. Now we are up in my master bedroom and in here I went with an entirely different color scheme than the rest of my house. I did whites and blacks and forest green with a little bit of pops of gold. Um, but I absolutely love this room. It has become such an oasis for me to come up here at night and just relax and watch movies with my husband and hang out. It's super cozy in here. So let's talk about what we got going on. Somewhere in my house, I wanted to kind of glam it up and go a little more modern. And I figured the master bedroom was the perfect place. So here up above the bed, I have this really pretty frosted wreath. I love the simplicity of this, but it still gives the room really cozy wintry vibes. And then I always have this white bedding on my bed, but I incorporated some red and green flannel sheets. I went with um, plaid because that again, just gives it that farmhouse feel that I usually go for, but it wasn't too much. I thought that the colors just really blended together with the room, but my favorite thing that I found for this room were these green velvet pillows. I just want to like <laughs> touch them all the time. They are so, so pretty and I love the gold Christmas trees. These are what really makes the room feel more modern and glam. But then just to kind of tie everything back to that farmhouse kind of rustic feel, I just added this farm fresh Christmas tree pillow. The pillowcase itself is like a burlap, um, but I got this on Etsy. I have it linked in my description. Just to kind of go the extra mile here with the space, I added this cozy knit throw. Um, it really does warm up the bed and make it feel just warm and cozy. And then I added this tray. I found it at Hobby Lobby and these Christmas trees I loved because they had the black bottoms that matched my room perfectly. These were like three and five dollars in the Target, not the dollar spot, but the Wonderland shop. And then I thought this candle was absolutely beautiful too. This was also found at Target. So that is my bed area. Here are my dresser. I just have, I don't even know what this greenery is called, but I thought it looked really wintry and it was with the Christmas florals at Hobby Lobby. I got it 50% off um, and I just added two vases instead of one because I liked the balance and height. And then this is the same kind of little deer that I have down in my sitting area, but this one is Buffalo Check Black and White. I got it a few years ago and I thought it tied that black and white together perfectly in here and he's just so cute. Poor guy has a broken leg. My daughter broke him last year, but he still can stand, so that's good. We just can't play with him anymore, but. And then over here, again with the black and white, I just have this sign from Target that says Silent Night, Holy Night, all is calm, all is bright. Wanted to keep it really simple up here, so I have these Christmas trees that are wrapped in craft paper. They are from the Hearth and Hand collection by Magnolia at Target. 
And then I just have this really pretty gold frame. This is a picture. This is actually an engagement photo of Caleb and I. And then this little lantern just has some ornaments and some tea lights in here. So over on this side of the room, we have this chair. Um, it's just kind of our sitting area. We like to read here and just kind of veg out, watch TV. Um, but it's not super Christmassy because I ran out of Christmas pillows and I didn't want to buy more. So I just added this plaid pillow. I thought it kind of tied everything together. And then this um, little greenery here is the exact same as the wreath above the bed. So that just kind of balanced out the space and I thought it matched perfectly. I love this, it's so full. Um, and it's kind of the perfect height for this space, I feel like. Over here in my desk area, I have these signs that say, and so together they built a life they loved. And my husband works from home and he works here quite a bit. And I didn't want to go <laughs> crazy with decor up here. I just have some family pictures and a little Christmas tree. And then over here, last but not least, we just have this fireplace area with built-in shelves. And I didn't do any decor on the actual shelves, maybe next year, but on the mantle, I just have a garland. This is that same garland that I found at Walmart for like $10, as well as these gold and brown Christmas trees. I think those are from Target, but they're really old, so you probably can't find them. Um, and then down here on the fireplace, I have a wicker basket, a throw blanket, and then these faux fur presents. I thought these were so fun and really glam. And then over on this side, I just have another wreath and a sign. I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching my 2019 Christmas home tour. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that I brought you some decor ideas, inspiration, or maybe you're like me and you already decorated and it just brought a little Christmas joy to your morning coffee. But regardless, if you happen to be new around here today, I just wanted to formally say, hey, I'm Amy and I'm so glad that you're here and that you stopped by. If you like what you saw today, make sure you hit that little red subscribe button down below and say hey in the comments. I love getting to know you guys and getting to know where you're from. But I hope that you all have a very happy Thanksgiving and a very Merry Christmas, and I'll see you all really soon in the next one. Bye, guys. Doesn't matter if the snow is falling.